flames nor their depths could claim me. What's going on, bro? I'm so wrong for you guys. Today, another video the same way I do with GP and the Tall Dogs. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe, and yeah, we're playing against Stevens, who is arguably one of the best Jaxes on the server. And, uh. Yeah, we're chilling. Interesting strategy that he's trying. Well, that guy is super tilted. As I say that sentence. Looks like we saw them, their jungler and raptors. Men tell my tale. All right, we're chilling. On our way to shutting down the jacks very soon. I'm gonna go cloth armor instead of boots. Cause there's just no point. Yeah, it's a bot crap angle. It's a bot crab angle for sure, I think. I'm getting the cloth armor because their top laner and jungler are both AD champions and there's really no point for me to push anything or pressure anything. I could just chill and win the game like this. They will slow push towards me, of course. Betrayal stings like he gets the execute off, I think. Yes. Another. Gotta be careful, Ar. He has higher base movement speed than me if it comes down to it. He could have jumped to my first barrel to avoid getting hit. Take it. I still have got my TP as well. All right, let's recall. We're gonna recall for the sake of buying a dagger, actually. The dagger will give us the upper end when he jumps on us. It's really good that Jax didn't get the kill. He shared XP with everyone, and I ended up getting the kill on him. Absolutely huge. I believe Galio TP top lane. Right now, the only kill participations at all is top lane. My build's gonna be looking like my Trinity Force? Will be bloody. Gonna be looking like Trinity Force? Uh, I feel like I should go Tabbies. Because they have a bunch of lethality users on their team. Hack their kidneys out. I feel like he should pink for me.
This flash was so bad, man. His flashing goal was really, really, really bad. If he just flashes slightly upwards, he gets the hook off. Super hard misplay on his part. I'm gonna chill here because I can get level 7 and it'll be hard for Jax to fight me anyways with this wave. And the freeze. <clears throat> Last hit this cannon and I'm level 7. I mean, look mid lane. Aurelia is just laning 1 versus 0. And up farm as well. I mean, thankfully, she should be up farm if she's laning 1v0. My entire job is just to hold the freeze. One slash, ear to ear. She's doing very good at, like, not BMing me. Absolutely beautiful sighting there. Beautiful spacing. I made it so he never got a W or his third auto off. So he could never ignite, thinking that he could trade one for one. sell anything unless I sell this and get an essence reaver that might be the move actually honest to god it might be move go essence reaver this game like essence reaver uh I don't know if I should go mortal reminder actually I'm not entirely sure we'll figure it out as we move move along maybe I'll just get a Navori be Navori and Tavis my heart is iron It's a good, very, very good Prowler's Claw game for sure, though. Toss them to the sharks. Definitely a very good Prowler's game, actually. Galio's looking top. The seas and men betray. <laughs> that crit did seven hundred damage to him, by the way. Seen blood yet. 
<laughs> I just crit that guy for 700. Basically like a K Caitlyn headshot. Actually crazy. <clears throat> oh, he actually got the kill. Respect. Only 300 gold. I rarely forget and never. I mean, it's so bad, like, if it was Zach to ping me there. He's only worth 300 gold and I can get that lead top lane. They just let me live, I guess. Okay. I'm in a good position to 1v9 the game. I gotta figure out what to go right now. I think I want to go Navori, honest to god. Like, actually just go Navori. I don't even need, know if I need the Tabbies anymore, though. So. If I don't need Tabbies, then I can just go Mortal Reminder. I feel like I'll just go Navori right now, actually. I think I'll go Navori LDR. We have to ignore top side and we just have to go for this dragon. Gold point's more important than anything else. Although, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to contest. I think I should go Lucidity Boots rather than Tabs here, actually. I think the extra haste will actually be nice to have. I'll sit on the cloth until I have enough for uh, zeal. I have lots and lots of haste. Yeah, 41% should be more than enough to get through the rest of the game. Looks like I'm not uh, level 13 though for this dragon. Because that's basically a one. Take 
back what's mine. Jax is top, but his split really doesn't mean anything. If I get this tower, it's 600 gold. It'll be absolutely disgusting, actually. Close to 13. My now that I've got this zeal, I actually bloody. hit like a truck. Actual. I don't think I should go collector though. My next time should be LDR. I might not even complete the zeal actually. I might just sit on the zeal just for crit chance and movement speed. Because they're not really healing that much, so there's no real rush to just get the 25 AD. And I can just go LDR. Feed them their fingers. Yeah, I don't think it has any rush. Probably my best option. Off this next wave, I'm 13. Done a TP. That's just embarrassing. I'll just push this lane with him. Barely got there. Well, Vigar Cage is bugged, so that's unlucky. Anyways, I'm kind of close to my LDR, because I'm going to sell this cloth armor for it, so that'll put me at 210, so I'm at 2300, debt limit's about 250, I just need to get 500 more gold, and I've got it. 500 more gold. I bite him. Alright, thank you. I have my item now. Well, I don't have item. <laughs> well, I got my LDR. Yeah, I've now completed my Lord Dominic's Regard. I think my last item should be either Infinity or Prowler's Claw. For sure one of those two items.
What about my clips? I rarely forget and never forgive. Let's see what they're doing out here. Are they just AFK? Fortunately, we ran a train on them. Oh. Come on, I'm so close to killing them. Where are you going? My cute minion. Damn. Well, Dax just ended up rage quitting. But hey, we got the dub. I don't know what happens to Tyler's top laners every time I go versus him. Didn't expect to play versus him after queuing up after for a warm up earth either, but Dylan, most damage in the game as well. How's it going everyone? I'm Tyler Rowe, where you guys see another video the same way we're playing gameplay in the top lane. So as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to really like, comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe, and yeah, we're playing against the team out in the top lane on the main account right now as uh, Teemo versus GP. We're both take, we both have Grass. Now, personally, I think PTA is the best rune on Teemo uh, in terms of this matchup rather than Grasp. So it's really weird when I see people take it, but hopefully I can teach you guys a thing or two about the matchup. We are, we're chilling. Pretty much you're only queuing him when you have Grasp. If you don't have Grasp, you don't really have much uh to fight him with like you really shouldn't be fighting him period i'm gonna get a board off whenever i'm on red side because i like to see when the jungler is taking the blue buff slash gromp right here it's about the perfect ward he's the blue buff and it should see the gromp as well if i'm not mistaken He's dead. More powder. Tell my tale. Come All right, and I'm recalling now. All right, a nice little two minute sheen. I lost my ship, but not my soul. Not bad. Yeah, I pretty much just outspaced him there. He was also trolling with the trade and trying to go in the bush is dumb, especially since he doesn't have time warp. He has no inspiration, right? So I just walk up at him with higher movement speed. 
then he just wants to cry. Wave is slow pushing towards me as well, so I'm actually free from any potential ganks from the Rengar. I just gotta place this control word down, and then I'll be good to let the wave slow push back towards me. Always watch your back. That kinda sucks. But he did red to top. Well, I'm actually fine here. I just gotta let this wave crush though. I don't want to risk dying or anything. No idea how Malzahar ever gets solo killed. Absolutely bizarre to me in this matchup. So really, really, really weird, but... I just gotta let the wave shuffle to me like I was saying earlier. Everything will be okay. One more key, brother. Thank you. I'll crush the next wave as well. Really detrimental to this Teemo's laning phase right now. He's absolutely depressed right now. Which is what we want for Teemo. We want him to feel depressed. We want him to feel worthless. Now we walk back to lane. Walk down like this. This slow death will be their reward. That's not good. Missed the big time actually. He can read through what I was going to do, or what I was thinking. Their bodies will choke the abyss. On this next melee minion, I can probably kill him. Me, please, because of Rengar. I'm far 
Alright, we're chilling. I have a 700 gold bounty though, which kind of sucks, but it's time to recall. A turned back deserves a knife. Run back top lane now. Thought we're dying for that plate for no reason. Got what I wanted. Now it's time to run back. I feel like if there's a chance I do get dove. I guess Rengar's top lane, so I guess I have nothing to worry about. I can get one plane backed off. They only got one plate. I got some XP from that. I think it's not a bad ulti. Try this, this. I think it's fine to have sweepers still. Uh, this game, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna need Serpent's Fang, honest to god, because of Karma, I'm not too sure how much your shield will actually be doing. I'm for sure gonna go Yomu second though, I think I'm gonna go try Yomu's Mortal. A reckoning approaches. Yeah, try Yomu's Mortal for sure. No, my Q didn't go off. Yeah, he jumped to a minion and forgot about it. Gold reset. Actually huge by the way, gold reset. Too bad the plate's gonna die. I'm gonna deny this uh, emo any more farm though. I think I'm gonna proxy his waves. Can I am some golden XP? I've been getting a little bit too much. I don't like him being the same level as me. I'm pretty sure I have the authority to do that as well. Dead will herald my return. <laughs> the sea has no name. That was actually good by him. The cutting that he did there. Like salt on a wound. Actually pretty good. Words mean 
nothing. Flesh carries weight. Barrel. Guess he's not there. I'll just take his tower then. Q on him right now. I see corpses waiting to drop. Oops. That's my bad, actually. Low HP, but I shouldn't have died to him. I took too much poke, or I could have flashed him earlier. Uh, the question is, do I go red trinket still, or do I go blue? Oh, he's level 11 now. He actually, from two kills alone, he has a uh, XP lead over me. Down if I can't over my it. five kills. Mozart just flashed. That's pretty awesome. Do I look like a patient man? So weird of him to just die like that. Like he saw it happening. So bizarre. I'll take back what's mine. Hate is a child's word. No, how am I tanking? Damn, that sucks. That actually cost me my uh, my 600 gold there. The dying. I'm actually gonna end up going Serpent's Fang regardless. I think right now. I think I should build this into a Serpent's Fang, and then. Let's say go full lethality, but I don't think full lethality is good into their comp. Hmm. I'm only making sure that we don't lose the game 100,000%. That's what I'm mainly concerned about.
There we go. Don't get comfortable in my absence. Go serpents and does this build into any crit? I guess I'll build Navori. I guess I'll go serpents, Navori. Serpents, Navori. I don't think I want to go mortal reminder. Let's say I know Navori, mortal reminder, LDR, but that's like a really weird build, so I might just end up selling this uh, Caulfield Warhammer. They're gonna FF, that's the reason why they're running like this. Good game, the solid laning phase. So as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and peace.